Kia ora, amazing church. How are you doing in lockdown land? Hey, it's a quick weekly encouragement for you from Ephesians 1.18. Hey, here Paul's praying uh, that the Ephesian church and therefore us would understand three core things. And he starts with this really cool phrase. He's praying that we would have the eyes of our heart enlightened. This is a real powerful phrase in the New Testament where Paul's using it to mean not just our heart as the seat of our emotions, but more the core of who we are, the core of our being, right? So he's saying, man, I pray that in the core of your being, you will understand three things, two in verse 18 and then one in verse 19, which we don't have time to, to think about. Um, so the first thing he says is he prays that um, the, the core of who you are may know the hope uh, that is in you to which you are called. I just love that, eh? that you'll know it. Now, he's not saying, I pray that you'll work on this and figure it out. He's praying, I, I pray you'll understand it. And I thought, what a cool thing for us as a church to be praying for one another this week. So I'd encourage you, how about you pray for others that they will understand the hope that they have, that God has them, that he has secured them, um, that he is with them, that he will provide for them, protect them, pray for one another, right? That we would grasp that hope. He's not saying, do it. Um, you know, work on understanding the hope. He's saying, he's praying that they'd get it. I love that. The second thing he says is, what are the riches of the glorious inheritance in the saints? The key thing Paul often talks about that we will inherit is God himself. He says that we have the Holy Spirit now as a, a seal or a deposit or a proof of the fullness of that inheritance that's coming, the fullness of this incredible relationship with God. I just love that. Eh? What a cool thing to be praying for one another this week, that, that we as a church would understand the hope, the security we have in God. And then combined with that, this inheritance we have of God himself indwelling us and us indwelling God. Brain explosion. Ephesians 1.18. Kakite.